Virgo. Let's now explore the basis of this connection, the foundations, and then the strengths and the challenges. Okay. Okay, so you've got wellness as your the basis of your connection here. Now, the numbers four and two make six. So six is quite a spiritual connection, and you can see this state of meditation that's occurring in this card here. Now, wellness is all about well-being. It's all about happiness and inviting that into your life. So I feel that's a very important thing for you, Virgo. And I think it might be a question that you're asking yourself throughout the relationship. Uh, and I feel like with wellness here, it's important to face our truth. Um, we've got the almost what looks like an ace of swords here, and it's almost like in alignment with the ace of chalices. But the ace of swords, um, the, the resemblance here is fighting for something um, or something being a struggle or needing courage in a situation. So I think in a lot of ways, this uh, relationship, the coming together of this relationship is a lot to do with um, having courage fighting for something uh, whether it's you or whether it's this person and this i think is a bit of a test here so it's really going to test your limits i think and ultimately it has the ability to make you grow and come into wellness but i think time will really tell with this relationship i think it's going to be um i really want to say it's going to be make or break virgo and it'll it'll be interesting what you do with this connection because Truth and justice are very important, I feel. Okay, but let's have a look at your strengths. Okay, you have the Ace of Pentacles. It's quite nice. Okay, I definitely feel things will be very exposed. The High Priestess reveals things, circumstances, events, endeavors, thoughts, emotions. So I don't feel like there's suppression. And this is why I think it's going to be quite a testing relationship because everything is really going to come out there in the open. And I feel like you'll be fairly open with these things. Uh, it could be you, it could be this person, perhaps the both of you. And you might be really open uh, as to what's occurring in this relationship uh it's things to do with secrets and the subconscious i think is definitely coming out in this relationship and again the high priestess does represent things like faith she represents the abrahamic religions you can see the jewish torah uh you can see the muslim uh is uh the islam crescent moon symbol and then the the, the christian cross um she represents things like fertility and planting seeds and growth so uh if that's a strength then i feel faith in having faith in this person or having faith that things will turn around i think that's a strong point here coping with loss or dealing with things very well as well because you've got the five of cups which can be quite a melancholy card um, but despite the things that happen there's support in the form of the two of cups so i feel like the two of you could be extremely supportive of each other um, each other's flaws each other's strengths and if the the five of cups is read as a as a point of strength um, it means that every loss or ev any sort of bump in the road is ultimately going to make you stronger virgo and what beautiful way to represent that strength than the ace of pentacles uh, this is you as the pentacle that has come up here and this ace again points to divine intervention and you had the ace of cups chalices and i think to have two aces around this relationship I do feel like it for some of you, there might be two attempts at this same relationship that might happen quite closely together. And if this is the case, Virgo, I don't think you'll go a long time without connecting or talking to this person or having another chance with them or giving them another chance with you. So I sort of want to mention that. Uh, but it could also be things like finance and settling down um, and, and building, you know, a, a long term connection. Um, could be quite could be the strength the strength he could also be the same professional career views on finance views on the, the physical realm ideals you know these could all be very similar and when we have those similarities it tends to create a, a bond because we we um it generally tends to create a stronger bond because we mesh so well um, in these types of areas which we have to admit are important but i love that that's come up here i do 
Um, but I do want to say forgiveness. The two of you will be very forgiving with each other. I feel like that needs to be said uh, in this connection. Let's have a look at the areas of challenge, though. Okay, there might be some judgments that are passed, some heavy judgments. Um, or judging about the past. I want to say the past because the moon is here. Okay, so there's a lot of judgment Judgment about reversed activity. The hangman here is patience, it's suspense, but it's also punishment. Now, if this is coming up in a context of challenge, Virgo, I'm sensing that you or this person, it's almost like you'll be punishing each other uh, or the way in which you want to show you've hurt one another. I don't know if it's like the silent treatment or there's a whole heap of judgment that's going to come out. Um... I don't even know if it's competition because the Empress is so beautiful. But if you read her in, um, if you read her in a context of challenge, she can be superficial. I mean, look at it, it's like reading the challenges or the complicated parts of the Empress. Whilst she's powerful and she represents beautiful things like strength and power and fertility and status, uh, the negatives would be that she likes to overindulge. There's a superficial quality. Uh, the, the complications would be is that she has so much available to her that she feels self-entitled. So I don't know if this is self-entitled attitudes or modes of thought that may be detrimental to the relationship. But the judgment card here could be something to do with communication because we see the angel. The angel is a messenger, is an intermediary. So this could be quite a tricky one. If this is a second attempt, it's almost like you're still punishing them for something they did. I don't know if forgiveness needs to happen or proper healing needs to happen, but that is that's what could be really challenging if that is a second attempt. Um, I don't know if you're also judging them on the past if you don't have a history with them. Uh, I don't know if you're judging them on something they've done in the past. It might not be who they are anymore, Virgo. Um, it's important to pay attention to the behavior more than someone's words. Because if, if, if we go by anything, it's the behavior, okay? It's the actions that they take or um, how they want to come across or how they want to prove themselves, whatever it be. Uh, I feel like it's that that you need to pay attention to. But judgment read in a context of, I mean, that this could be sort of like narrow-mindedness as well. But the Empress, she's holding her, her baton here. Um, read in a context of challenge, it could be demanding, Okay, it could be that this person might put a lot of demands on you. It could be that you put a lot of demands on them because of the status. Because uh, you know, look, it might come from the past with the moon. I don't know if their previous partner has uh, sort of really put this person on a pedestal and they're used to that sort of behavior. They may expect that from you. You may sort of see that sort of tendency here. Uh, Virgo it could also be you that's sort of been molded a certain way from your previous relationships. Maybe this person is a little bit different, and then that's when the judgment will come out. Um, I don't know if this is criticism. It could be. It could be criticism, either self-criticism or criticism of each other. And, you know, whilst criticism can be constructive, it needs to be done in quite an emotionally sensitive way. Otherwise, I don't see the both of you handling this very well. So I think the way in which you communicate, angel is communication, um, needs to be in a in a very, I guess, um, aware way, okay, because the Empress, she's she beautifies things, so it's almost like you'll have to be quite, um, what's the word I'm looking for, considerate in your approach, Virgo, or they need to be more considerate in their approach towards you, it could be something along those lines here. Um, but it's important to keep things open because that's what's going to help you move forward to the next stage, going through that archway and, and build on that genuinely feeling good in the relationship as well. I will leave it at that, Virgo. Thank you again for watching. If you were after a private reading with me, please feel free to email me 